Today in the wood yard, I'm taking a pile of snow out on Lake Winnebago. We're gonna cut some holes in the ice with chainsaws. We're kind of nuts. Here we go. Tomorrow is the opening day of the sturgeon spearing season here in Wisconsin. We have a lake right south of where I live here and it is called Lake Winnebago. It is about 10 miles wide, 30 miles long, give or take. Not sure exactly, it's a fairly shallow lake. I think the maximum depth on it is like 14 or 15 feet, so it's real shallow. But there's a lot of sturgeon in it. And there's a season here for spearing sturgeon. And about, on average, somewhere between 12 and 14,000 people go out on this lake and try to spear a sturgeon. Now, some guys have been out there spearing for decades and never seen a fish. And there's other guys that get a fish every year. So it's one of those things you just don't know. And you're gonna see kind of how it works. And the reason I'm going is my brother Ken is going because he goes once in a while with a group of guys. And I've never been out there. I've lived in this area for 30 some years. I've never been out on the lake during the sturgeon spearing season. So it's gonna be new to me too. And the reason it's gonna be interesting to you guys is that I am going to film the cutting of the holes. Now the cutting of the holes is not just like, you know, they chisel a hole. They use chainsaws. Yes, chainsaws. And they cut a hole that I think is either three feet or four feet deep and then wide six feet. So four feet by six feet. And then two guys will sit in a shack with the spear that goes up through the hole in the roof and they wait for a fish to swim by and then they try to spear it. That's what they do. So these big blocks of ice get cut with a big chainsaw and then they shove the block of ice down and then shove it out under the ice. So we're gonna see some chainsaws cutting ice. That's, that's kind of what we're gonna do today. So, and the reason I'm going also is they need snow. We have almost no snow in the area here and I'm taking snow out onto a lake. Yeah, that kind of sounds weird. But what they do is after they get the hole in, they put their, their spearing shack, it's called. They put that over the hole then they pack snow all the way around the outside. Well, there's no snow out on the lake. It's just all ice because we've had some warm weather and the snow melted. But I happen to have some snow right over behind my building, right over there. And I'm gonna scoop into it and I'm gonna dump it into my pickup. I'm gonna fill my, my bed of my truck. I'm gonna take it to them because it takes quite a bit of snow just to go around one shack. And they have, this group of guys has, I think like a dozen or 13 or something like that shacks that they have to put snow around. So they're not gonna have much snow at all. Uh, to pack around it. And what that does is it seals the air, makes it darker inside so that they can see down into the ice and it keeps it so that the air can't flow in and it gets cold. Um, because right now it's 40 degrees today, but it's supposed to get down into single digits tonight and it's supposed to stay like that. So they wanna seal these shacks up and make them warm. So I'm gonna dump some snow into the truck right now. Well, I think I overdid it a little bit. This is a half ton pickup and I got about a ton of snow in here. And look at this. She's right down to the bottom. There's really nothing left. So, and my tires are, yeah, it's, my springs are just level. I actually they're arched up a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit off. It's, uh, it's a little more than I wanna haul. And I gotta, got, I gotta go about 15 miles. And so I'm gonna take some off because this is a lot. 
I think a bunch of it will fall off anyway. That's still a lot. I don't think it's come up hardly at all. Yep, hasn't done a thing. So it's bottomed right out. There, I think I just took off about 500 pounds. That'll help. Can always take them some more. I think that's gonna be plenty. Let's see what we got now. Still got nothing. Wow, that's, that's a lot of weight. A lot of weight. Well, let's see what happens. Here we go. Down the road we go. Okay, they got this is how they file it for ice. They take your acres off and then they take half of that tooth off. So it's more like a knife cut. Right. You don't cut. get you don't get so much spray. Is it cut real easy too? Same as any other saw. Yeah. This is a 62 cc saw, I think. It's a 362. 362. What do I say? I'm trying to read it here. It's got 59 cc's. Yeah. So it's real close. It's a 60 cc saw. You don't have to have that much power, you just need the length of the bar, because there's 20 inches of ice here. Yeah. That's going to be my jail cell for the next three days. <laughs> Look at how big that hole is, though. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a, that's that's a, a big okay. hole. He would drive his four-wheeler in there. Oh. That's why he built it so big. Yeah. Good. We got to get it down. Hey, I want to put the cut it in first. You're going to have to dip it down and mark we're going to have it. to mark the we're hole. Right, right, right. And then... Uh, dip it back up. That's a huge hole. Is there a legal size? Yeah. 48 that's, square. That must be the biggest it can be, huh? I, I think that's what... Oh, Max. Max, though. Max, though. Mind if I film this? <laughs> that's pretty cool. Is it homemade? Huh? Is it homemade? Somebody made it? Yeah, yeah. someone made it. Yeah.
push her down and we'll go there. Somebody come over here though. Cowboy. Well, never mind. I'll get her. That's a big fucking block. Look at that. She's Here's our marks. $18 for half a gallon of fuel. Yeah, I know. Are you holy crazy? Oh, yeah. it's a 661. Nice. Six Brand new, it looks like. Brand new, it looks like to me. You betcha. Okay. Yeah, she's only cut two holes. Not even broke in yet. Then you gotta have that. Bio, bio steel, yeah, yeah. yeah. How much is that? Twenty-six dollars for it. Oh my God! You just put cooking oil on. Does the same thing. No, it don't. No, it don't. It, but it don't leave nothing in a hole. It's not a hole. Cooking oil does not. There's no film or nothing with that. Yeah. I started using it last year. Yeah. Well, if you only time. Yeah, I don't like the caps on this. No, those quarter turns are terrible. They leak. Oh, right. How's Listen. she snort so far, Tom? Real good. We're gonna give I'm her. Pretty good. happy with my purchase too. There's a little bit of mud out there. I'll tell you what, I got a Husqvarna. Holy yeah. shit! There's nothing. How big? Those teeth on there. You see the? You see the chain? Yeah, I got, I got oh, a did you look at the chain? Yep. 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 You took the rakers off and file it way down Honestly, so it's just a sliver. Yeah. Yeah, it's filed at both angles. It's yeah. In this oh, way. Yeah. Then he's got that's it. That's just my little first husky. <laughs> tighten up here. Do it, bud. It needs to be tightened. Yeah, you better give it I do. Did you get one last year? Oh, he's got the light? Yeah. That was extra, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we know. <laughs> Everything's extra. So what do you got into it? About 1,500? 16. 16? 25. Yeah, yeah. Just to cut holes in the Just to cut a hole in the ice. How much is a sled? How much is a, a little bit? How much is a sled saw? Dead now. Compare in comparison. Well, the one I just filmed over there, those guys made that guys, one. They built it themselves. Yeah. A lot of them guys are uh, charging outrageous amounts for cutting holes here. I think they're kind of slow myself. Well, yeah. 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 It was slow. Yeah. That was something with it. Like, look, what's the season on this thing here? Turn it around. You're probably closer to 90. Yeah, I think it's like, I think it's around 90. I don't have my glasses on. 91. 91, yeah. Yeah. The next, next biggest saw is an 880. Yeah. yeah. My saw. I wasn't going to buy that. My house barn is, uh, yeah. it's 92 cc. 92? <laughs> yeah. Which is the same. This is probably a lighter saw, though. A husky well, Thomas saw. sells a lot of saws. We're gonna get Who's going to cut? <laughs> We're gonna see the I am. Can we get her started? That's the thing with that long bar. Cut that on an angle. Yep.
one. Here I go. Big hole, man. You could dive into that something. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll give you a quarter in. if you jump in. Quarter? No, yeah. I'm already wet. Okay, fifty cents. What did Jonah make that one? <laughs> no, I'm not wet. That's why we're these. <laughs> I know. Fifty bucks for jumping in? <laughs> yeah, we got the net. Somebody's got a net. I didn't, get, I didn't get as much tape on that side. That place better. It's hard to tell where you're at with all that shit, Brand. Yeah. Pretty good, Candy. Pretty good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, I got a little yeah, bit of a The bar is so long, it's just hard to yeah. get a deal. Yeah, we got to come back with that shack of hair. Because when we set it down, well, you'll be able to slide it, won't you? Enough guys huh? just push it. Probably, but we want to get it full as possible. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Great straight down, Jesus Christ, we couldn't have done that any better. <laughs> you guys got some finesse? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm Huh? Just walk around, see who's drinking what beverage. What do we got here? Well, we got, we got Pabst. PBR. What do we got over here? The mountains are blue. There's cold. Oh. What do we got over here? Pepsi. Pepsi. What the heck? What's in that Pepsi? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a drinking survey. What do we got over here? Little dark. From Guinness. Oh, all right. right. In your barrel. And Tony's got Budweiser over here. We got the variety pack out here oh, today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh Mountain Dew! Oh, <laughs> somebody, oh, somebody there. changed the owner. <laughs> what the well, heck? Where that came from? Oh, here comes our snow. There's our snow, imported all the way from my Appleton. <laughs> I got behind you, Jeff. He ain't gonna come back. That's good. Baker. I gotta get this hat off. I'm sweating to death. <laughs> Thing in the in the hole itself. Everybody get us Hey Hooter, what do you do with that big body you got? I want to pick, pick it up so I can slide this box. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, we take the 
Straighten it out on that block. Huh? I can move the truck over here. What's that? I'll oh, move the truck. I can right. do that. Here. Here. Well, we've been steering this group for, you know, the Tony's, uh, Tony's the, uh, Hey, you built it up to kill it. What do you act like you're a man? Act like you're an old man. <laughs> I'm lazy. Got a little grab on there. Little Walmart special shovel. Probably another one or two in the back there. Oh, 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 no, I got half a truck. Got enough to do another pack. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I can see him. Yeah, and if the sun comes out tomorrow when it cools down, right. you'll be able to see. It takes your eyes well to adjust, but yeah, eventually, eventually you can see you can see the bottom. It yeah. takes about ten minutes for your eyes to eyes to get right. stuff. Right. You can bring your truck over here, we'll shovel rest on the south second. That's where the sun's gonna melt it out right. first. <laughs> well, the sun ain't gonna melt it out tonight. No, <laughs> not tonight. Forty degrees out. Call me. It's forty degrees. That's that's gonna be my prison for the next three days. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's supposed to get in single digits starting tonight, I guess. So. I'd last about an hour. Gonna have to talk to our snow supplier. He's got a little dirt in here. Yeah. Well, I tried not to scrape the ground. I might do that because it, it's pretty pretty salty from coming back from your place. The roads were just outer. I had to bring your own snow, huh? I had him bring it all the way down from Memphis. <laughs> I knew there wouldn't be much out here, son. I'm coming, I got idea. a tractor. I was thinking, I'm like, man, there's got to be enough snow. I, won't I, need I scooped it full and figured. You gotta have the tunes, you gotta have the tunes. What are we gonna listen to old time polka music all day? We got somebody dead in the shack. <laughs> Sturgeon decoy. Just hang it down a hole and try to attract another sturgeon. Don't know if it works or not. Gosh, we get one? Yeah, we got. It's a pretty cool looking deal. Really nice. Gives us something to look at. When you stare down the hole, 
five, six hours and your eyeballs fall out, you got something to look at at least. 